Narrowed in preponderance, and at the seams they crumbled. Beneath the beams of concrete at the staircase, he stood humble. For he was a man who was mum because he shared those same secrets, but he wanted to cover them up as stains on his shirt, a reminder of who he was, a blemish not the spark to ignite the match from beneath the ash that was covering him up. Though as we all know, dust and ash began to settle, so he picked himself up and he turned into a vessel. Or was it that of a shepherd? They told me he had to walk with the people instead of transporting the message. And to be a believer, he had to fully believe what he believed in, because seeing with his eyes wasn't fully seeing, and until he opened his heart, he'd only ever felt it beating. And every piece of spirit inside of him had contributed to this meeting. Past perceptions fleeting, ego released and treated, feeding to the need to repair the heartless who aren't even capable of bleeding. Past memories deep seated came to the surface and receded. This is what life is. He asked himself to repeat it. This is what life is. This is feeling. And levels of energy were transferred on a bevel, weaving together from level to level. The performers were pushing, the people were snatching and grabbing. A balance is a beacon, you gotta have it. So he sat in position, squared up to the musicians, the frequencies and the waves like no matter the position. But he was in position to catch it and transmit it, spread it around. That was his mission. And they told him to build God so he put the people in his hand because he couldn't create the image of the world as a flawed man. Thank you.